From being scalped to having her eyes removed, Kellyanne Bates was brutally tortured for weeks before James Patterson Smith killed her on April 16, 1996. James Smith was an unemployed divorcee living in the Gordon area of Manchester. His marriage had ended in 1980, after 10 years, because he had been violent towards his wife. His next relationship was with 20-year-old Tina Watson, whom between 1980 and 1982, he used as a punch bag, even subjecting her to severe beatings while she was pregnant with their child. He would smack her in the face or hit her over the head with an ashtray. Watson managed to escape from the relationship, during which time Smith had attempted to drown her while she was bathing. When that relationship came to an end in 1982, Smith then started seeing 15-year-old Wendy Mottershead, whom he also abused. In one attack, he held her head underwater in the kitchen sink in an attempt to drown her. Before we dive deeper into our story, please take a moment to support this channel. Please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's get back to the story. Smith began grooming Kelly Bates when she was 14 years old, having met her while she was babysitting for friends. They'd been keeping the relationship secret from her mother for two years. One day, Margaret Bates, Kellyanne's mother, returned home to find her 16-year-old daughter, Kellyanne, standing in the kitchen with her boyfriend. Margaret was shocked to find that Smith was in his mid-40s, she told police later. As soon as I saw Smith, the hairs on the back of my neck went up. I tried everything I could to get Kellyanne away from him. Not long after the meeting in the kitchen, Kellyanne moved in with the unemployed Smith. Her parents began to notice bruises on her, which she explained away as being the results of accidents. She became increasingly withdrawn and in December 1995 resigned from her part-time job. In March 1996, her parents received cards purportedly from her for their anniversary and a birthday, but only Smith had signed them. When Bates's brother tried to see her at the house, Smith said she was not at home. James Patterson Smith had a long history of abusing the women he lived with. Smith was no different with Kelly Ann and regularly beat her. But after a few months, the abuse escalated to a terrifying new level. The true extent of the abuse only became clear on April 16, 1996, when Smith walked into the Gordon police station and said that he'd accidentally killed Kellyanne after an argument. He claimed that while taking a bath, she had inhaled water and died, following his attempts at resuscitation. He also claimed that she often pretended to be unconscious. He claimed that while taking a bath, she had inhaled water and died, following his attempts at resuscitation. He also claimed that she often pretended to be unconscious. Police went to Smith's address and found Bates's naked body in a bedroom. Her blood was found throughout the house and a post-mortem examination revealed over 150 separate injuries on her body. During the last month of her life, she had been kept bound, sometimes tied to a radiator or furniture by her hair, other times by her neck using a ligature. The pathologist who examined her body said, in my career, I have examined almost 600 victims of homicide, but I have never come across injuries so extensive. She had been burned with a hot iron, strangled and stabbed dozens of times in the legs, torso and mouth. Smith had also disfigured her by cutting at her scalp, face and genitals with assorted tools, including pruning shears. He'd even gouged out her eyes at least five days before he finally killed her by drowning her in the tub. She had been starved, having lost around 45 pounds in weight and had not received water for several days before her death. The prosecutor in Smith's trial said, it was as if he deliberately disfigured her, causing her the utmost pain, distress, and degradation. The injuries were not the result of one sudden eruption of violence. They must have been caused over a long period and were so extensive and so terrible that the defendant must have deliberately and systematically tortured the girl. The cause of death was drowning, immediately prior to which she had been beaten about the head with a shower head. Smith denied the murder and said, Bates would put me through hell and wind me up. He also claimed Bates had taunted him about his dead mother and had a bad habit of hurting herself to make it look worse on me. When asked to explain why he had blinded, stabbed and battered Bates, he said she had dared him to do it, challenging him to do her harm. A court psychiatrist told the court that Smith had a severe paranoid disorder with morbid jealousy and lived in a distorted reality. The jury at Manchester Crown Court took one hour to find 49-year-old James Patterson Smith guilty of Bates's murder, sentencing him to life imprisonment on November 19, 1997. 
the judge recommended that Smith serve a minimum term of 20 years. He stated, This has been a terrible case, a catalog of depravity by one human being upon another. You are a highly dangerous person. You are an abuser of women, and you will abuse no more. The jury were offered professional counseling to help them deal with the distress of seeing the photographs of Bates's injuries and the sickening violence of the case. All members of the jury accepted this offer.